Hey, second graders. So we've been working on cause and effect all last week and this week. We're going to continue working on that. This is just a review of what cause and effect is. Remember, when something happens, that is the result or the effect. And then why it happened is the cause. So we were saying in class, cause, why, what, effect. Cause, why, what, effect. So if you look at these two pictures on this on the screen, look at the second picture. I had to use an umbrella. That's what happened. I had to use an umbrella. Then you ask yourself, why did I have to use an umbrella? It's because it rained. So the cause is what happened first. It rained. And then what happened second? I had to use an umbrella. So if you look at this chart, it says the cause is the why and the reason something happened. The effect is what happened, like the result. And remember, we talked about how there are signal words like because, so, as a result of. Those might help you. Today, you're going to listen to a story. I know it's nice and warm today. But we're going to listen to The Mitten, one of Mrs. Silhavy's favorite stories by um, Eve Bunting. And you're going to read, or I'm sorry, Jan Brett, you're going to listen to this story called The Mitten. And then after you're done, you're going to click on Seesaw and you're going to just drag the effect from the cause. So you're going to think, um, after you listen to the story, I'll say the bear sneezed. That happened first because the bear sneezed. What happened second? All right. So listen to the story and then go ahead and drag the effects with the causes. Do your best. Bye.